There's no doubt at all, Suella Bravman has been very much in the news. We spoke about her speech in advance yesterday, uh, before she spoke yesterday afternoon in Washington, D.C., about immigration. Very detailed, lengthy speech, lots of facts, lots of figures. Uh, but uh, the figures that, or well, the comments that have been picked out today are the ones which have caused an awful lot of consternation from, well, let's face it, the usual suspect. She said that mass immigration is an existential threat to Western values and that multiculturalism has failed and that our British culture will disappear appear without border controls. And she's right about all of that, isn't she? And she's not the first to say it, because Emmanuel Macron of France has said it. Angela Merkel, the previous Chancellor of Germany, has said it. The Swedish Prime Minister has said it. The Italian Prime Minister, even the Democrat black mayor of New York, has said that immigration was going to ruin New York City. It's a reality. And yet we've seen the usual suspects on the liberal left making their ridiculous statements about how can a woman who is the daughter of immigrants herself, the daughter of a of a, a Kenyan Indian and a Mauritian, married to a Jew, how can she pull up the drawbridge behind her? The Mirror newspaper has simply called her speech poisonous. Because we're all going to pretend that you can import millions of people from many, many different cultures, many very different from Western uh, British culture, and nothing will happen. No impact whatsoever on British natives. No impact on, by the way, recent immigrant arrivals who have assimilated and integrated into this country. We don't have multiculturalism in this country properly because what we've got is a whole load of different cultures living side by side in parallel communities that never speak to each other, don't work with each other, don't go to school with each other, don't marry each other and don't integrate. Multiculturalism is not the same as multi-racism. Uh, multiracialism. We, this, we're in this bizarre situation where so many on the on the left and in the liberal circles of the elite North on the dinner parties that basically decide uh, Labour Party policy and uh, rule what Keir Starmer has to say on any given day of the week is that basically if you're of colour then you basically need to sign up to certain views. And Suella Braverman, who's got dark skin, therefore must sign up to certain points of views. Well, she doesn't because she's allowed to have her own point of view in this country. That's part of British culture. And when we say that someone who just because they have dark coloured skin has to say that we should have more people from every different background coming to this country, that's just something we should call out for what it is. That's just racism. That's all that is. They may as well have just called her a coconut or an Uncle Tom because that's basically what they're saying. What Swella Braverman has said has been said by numerous politicians before. It's being said uh, in the pubs and in the workplaces and in the homes of millions of people in this country. And uh, calling every single one of those people a bigot and a xenophobe and a racist isn't going to solve the problem that we need in this country to stand up for our values, to assert uh, the belief, which I think we should all have, that Western liberal values are superior to other values. We should stand up for our culture, for our language, for our way of life. We should be proud of it, not ashamed of it. And if you want to come and live in this country, you are welcome if you come here legally, but you must assimilate, you must integrate, you must share our cultural beliefs. Because if you don't, why have you come here?